plays Eastern Conference All-Star Reserves. I Welcome back to SMSU Esports. This is Krom McGraw, joined by my fellow caster, 
and friend Afro here. Yes, sir. For yes, SMSU sir. Valorant versus Morningside, Morningside, Iowa Mustangs. It is actually a Mustang v Mustang match. Yes, Afro. sir. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> you gotta love it. Uh, of course, this is a battle to see who is the most superior Mustang in the Midwest area. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a stacked one. We are here on Bind, you know, which we have seen SMSU done before yep. a few times. The win-loss record is a little bit on the half and half. More wins and losses, and you know, at the at the time right now, they've been you know practicing a lot of maps recently, especially with the extended amount of maps that they have now. You know, it, it, you still have your fractures, your breezes, and everything too, but they don't usually tend to touch that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, looking not not quite yet. Best is it is uh, important to note. It is just a best of one match. Yep. Yep. So winner takes is, all. Yep. Winner takes all. First to thirteen round wins, or you know. Two round wins if they do go into overtime. Yes, sir. Love to see some of that, but uh, be interested to see if that is a possibility. We haven't seen uh, much back and forth like that in our time casting so Two far. Ages. Yeah. They, as of this season, SMSU's been doing really well at just kind of holding down the, the hatches and uh, winning games in dominating fashion. Of course, this is still the uh, preseason. So, you know, we're still getting the kinks out on our side, especially with some new players coming in. You see the King Slayer back at it again with Neon. Looking be, uh, pretty confident. Interested to see how that works on buying. You know, Neon, um, new agent, very new to the yeah. game. Everybody yeah. doesn't quite know how necessarily best to utilize her yet. Um, yeah. I believe I did see one pro game where she did get played. I think it was on split. Yep. Um, yep. You know, her her mobility and everything is, is very useful, but it's uh, kind of a, how would you say, a, a pub mentality kind of <laughs> uh, character. Yeah, where yeah. I can definitely agree. She, She's... Very aggressive. I mean, that's kind of how you want to yeah. kind of use her. I mean, she has the walls, which, I mean, honestly, they do so well, especially on maps like Split. Not entirely sure. I haven't seen her a lot on Bind, so it's going to be interesting to see how she works with yeah, that, but it's going to be more I, or less the I same, I think. I would be assuming that SMSU is going to be trying to use her as an entry fragger. Oh, yeah. Um, take advantage of those concussions, which are very powerful. Especially um, on maps like this with everything so tight. You know, you can hit a stun yeah, and hookah and you can I, basically clear that I bad could very boy. much see how Neon would be really, really useful in taking Garden here on B, taking hookah control, um, and playing from elbow on the bomb. Yeah, U-Haul uh, too, especially on A side, would definitely <laughs> yeah. be a big spot that I would probably see her frequent the most with those stuns. And looks like they're going to be starting off uh, going toward B main for the most part. Going for a split between main and hookah. See, Brimstone is posted up there by the teleporter on the A site, so he can throw in some mollies, some utility into that hookah area if he needs to. A lot oh, of big whoa. setup. Ooh, Jackson. Ah, uh, no, not quite oh, recognizing sir. The raise was there, I think. I'm not quite sure. A lot of bullets flying oh. here. That's supposed you taking down three members of Morningside already. Plant is going to be going down here by the Beast Mod. Spike planted. Yeah, putting in the work here. SMSU only down one person. They have almost full control of sight. Breach kind of hiding an elbow for the most part, and you can see the brim starting to make that flank into Hookah, but they do spot him. Yep. Digital here. The morning side going to be flanking around, but the Cypher Cage will come out there from Piece of Bread. Ooh, oh, my. Oh, my goodness. I thought he was going to get a two-piece there. It's going to be down to Breach, and, of course, Breach had some shots on him. Could have gotten a kill there, but... It will not be enough as the Kingslayer will pick it up for round one. Pistol round, pretty good on their part for them yeah, uh, for SMC, that one. You know, coming out there with uh, three ghosts. Um, don't think they're gonna. They throw one of them over to Awoken, yeah. you know, resident opera for SMSU. So it's probably gonna keep that. You know, try and use that this round. Not gonna want to force up. Not gonna want to spend her credits yet. Gonna want to save for that op, possibly, or just build up some. Uh, oh. I eat my words. She has a specter. <laughs> hey, and I mean, that's totally fine, too. I mean, you might as well. You got the pistol round. You got the econ to do it. Now let's hope that they can get this Ooh, round one and make it pay off. In a precarious. Oh, they oh, piece of does spot him out. <laughs> Woken will pick him up. That's going to be SMSU flooding onto the A site here. And they're going to have full Chamber. control of A site as the rest of Morningside begin to make their rotation. And they can only assume probably one thing. They got to be coming from spawn at this point because they have every other angle covered. Yeah, a lot of Astra smoke up there in that heaven. Going to be pushing out those morning sun members. Black does peek out of it, peeks back in. Don't think he saw any of the SMSU players Ooh. there. Going to shoot some shots towards B spawn, but not going to pick him up. 
And yeah, they're getting hit on all sides here. Possible flawless in the making. It will not, though, as Digital will be taking out the Kingslayer to stop that flawless. But still, another dominating round by SMSU as they were able to take complete control of A site and had enough time to kind of set up angles before they had a chance to maybe go for a retake there. So good on them as we enter that next round. Again, SMSU looking at a pretty good advantage. They are going to be able to buy, but I think they might be thinking about just bonusing this one. I don't see a lot of rifles here. On that part, we see a Bulldog, I believe, and some Spectres. Uh, but that's about all we got so far. I see the flanks being set up here by the Resident Cypher. And they come through. Going to be taking it a little bit slower. Going to try and maybe have them uh, think twice about what to do here. They do hear the wolf coming, though. Yeah, Blink's here. Oh, Just holding man. it down below Luka here. Trying to get some cheeky intel. A very, actually, very strong position there to hold. Jack's going to be pushing here through the smoke. Oh, my Does goodness. catch breach in the middle of putting out his utility there, though. Going to force Lack back. And now... Warning side, gonna try and rotate their chamber over. Their uh, rim is being a little slow here, deciding not to go through the teleporter this time around. Yeah, I think that might have been the mistake there. I think he might have also been just trying to wait for something else to happen, but they already got bombed down, and he decided, okay, well, they are definitely setting up for that. Maybe they were expecting a fake here, but the way that SMS is playing right now, it is just all aggression. There's no flanks. There's no Prez nothing. does pick up a piece of bread there. Does have a good position here with Lack. In elbow. Oh, and pushes my out. Picks up Jackson and Lack gonna pick up Kingslayer there, and that's gonna be the round yeah. for Morningside. Good, Good plays by them. Yeah, no, that was a great retake. I think they were a little bit late on that, just with Brimstone kind of trailing from behind. He did get picked up, but the headhunter from Chamber is just too, yeah, too it, good. It's <laughs> really it's really good to see that they at least, you know, Brim was a little slow to rotate. But, yeah. you know, they didn't necessarily know the bomb was down quite yet. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it's really good on them to have the patience to wait for Brim to get moved over before they even try to initiate that. A really, really good um, pincer attack there from Prez and Lack. Yeah, I think it it just really worked out for him. It gets them uh, a chance to maybe make some moves here, make some waves as we enter this fourth round. And now as we look out at the situation for SMSU, you can see that they're now starting to maybe rock some defaults here. He's very going to be throwing out that camera, trying to get some info. Jackson and Kingslayer pushed up here into bathroom. They get the orb. Master Char is going down here now. Both teams respecting each other very well. The type of talent that we like to see. SMS Jackson does uh, manage to break Chambers' teleporter there. It's going to be good. He's been in a fairly aggressive position here. You can see that Blinks is over there holding with that um, frenzy. And Brad definitely doesn't want to push into him and give him a free rifle. Yeah, you saw the Kingslayer again being aggressive as Neon, but it does not come up in his favor, and he will be taken out. But it's still 4v4, and as soon as I say that, SMSU does take out two members of Morningside. Yeah, help, helpless and Blinks there, you know. They got the Ghost and the Frenzy. They're trying to do the best they can, but SMSU has the full rifles, and that's really hard to contend against. And they're going to make the rotation here. You're going to have one going in from Heaven, the other going down toward the CT. Tishul does manage to pick up a rifle there from an SMSU player. They do have two rifles here against the four of SMSU. But SMSU with a lot of utility characters still left alive. I mean, they've got Cypher, Astra, Sky. Really going to be hard to uh, make this a win. But, Ooh. you know, as Ooh. I say that. Is that going to do it? Oh, my goodness. Uh, Morningside Digital almost getting uh, a possible 2K to kind of clutch that round. But I think they may have still had enough time to... Even get the defuse if they got that yeah, cipher. And, and Lack had a really, really great two two piece there too. Yeah, that was really, was really great good. Double kill that equalized up the the man difference. Um, the very close round there, you know, just a little bit of a one one more shot. Yeah, it really just comes down to that one more bullet. <laughs> and at that point, I mean, they almost had it too. And so, you know, you're starting to see that they're starting to kind of click with this. They're starting to kind of know what's going on. And, and and when they're in those situations like that with the clutch. Uh, in situations we like that with bomb vision. you kind of have to go into that mindset of like hey you know if we die we die but let's I give like, them a fight i like the game sense from woken there knowing to not push too far up and wait for that sova dart yeah to peek out both the teams definitely 
respecting each other, wanting to play the utility and information game here. See as the beast mod throws out the sky dog, trying to get some info, as well as the raise bot comes out from Morningside. Wolfen will break that. Oh my god. Does take a little bit of retaliatory damage there from the shock dart. Shock dart was clean. I gotta say that shock dart was clean. He knew exactly where they were. Very nice. Now Brad pushing up, kind of in a lurk position. Staying in a location where he can capitalize if warning side breaks those cipher tripwires. While the rest of SMSU tries to position and take some space over by B. Morningside not quite giving them any map control to work with. Oh, oh. Sprint does peek out there, but Digital will pick him up. And with that, SMSU does the fast rotate now onto A, but Morningside is reading it completely. And they yeah. have four members there to match it. The World Divided did come out from SMSU, so SMSU will have um, that ability, but they do get hit by that massive breach off. Oh my but goodness! Loki, even when she's concussed, manages to pick up breach there, but doesn't keep looking in that same place and gets picked up by Lack. They will get the bomb down though just before and now with only one member left for morning side this is going to be a tough tough these are tough some really close rounds yeah no these are these are pretty close i mean even with morning side reading that smsu was still able to kind of come up with that especially since they were also stunned mostly by that breach hold. is looking he's trying to figure out where the smsu players are but there's three of them that he has to look for he manages to get picked up there by jackson from heaven that's going to do it for this round. And again, they're still looking pretty good on the side of SMSU, even with that last round, uh, well, the, the the last round win, I should say, for Morningside a little bit ago. And looking at the situation at the moment, SMSU still has, like, full control of this game. They did get a round off, but right now the, the fight just doesn't seem to be as much there for Morningside, but they yeah, can definitely I, turn it around. I think uh, I think Morningside is just losing these rounds with really, really slim margins. You know, yeah. it's just it's just a headshot here, a headshot Once there. Um, oh my goodness! <laughs> the headhunters <laughs> as at I say work. That, the headhunter starts coming out. Oh, helpless! Can't manage to find Beast Mod there. Unfortunately, it, it looked like he hit him a couple times with the <laughs> with the Bucky too, which was like, and they still ain't down yet. Like, <laughs> come on now. But it will be a 3v4. Here, lurking in the middle. Decides to use his blast Ooh. pack there, actually, to jump over it. Well, actually, destroyed it. Oh, yeah. No, that would have... It was. I, I like the effort, but I feel like you could have just shot it and still saved a, a blast pack, but, you know... Can hey. you, uh... You're a Cypher main. Can you crouch jump over those? Uh, depending on how low it is, you can uh, most certainly try. We can see try. Blink just tried to do that Yeah, there. exactly. <laughs> it's like, it depends on how low it can be. If it's low enough, you could probably clear it. Blink, last alive. Gets picked up by a piece of bread there. That will be another round for SMSU. Yeah, and I think that was the mistake that they made there. They tried to crouch jump over it. I probably just would have, I mean, hey, might as well just shoot it at this point because... Trying to crouch jump, they knew exactly where you were. They well, caught you lacking. Well, and also they knew after you destroyed the first exactly. one that he's coming through there. So yeah, there wasn't a lot that that raise could do. I, I'm thinking the raise was probably hoping that at least one of their teammates was still alive, so they can make something out of it. But it just fell apart for him there, as we enter this uh, next round. Again, SMSU still looking really strong. Morningside still kind of trying to find a uh, an opening to kind of make some moves here. Mm -hmm. Interesting to see. You know, comp wise, Morningside's comp is pretty balanced. Like, they have some good attacking and some good defending utility. Oh my goodness. Again, just. It, it, it looks like the I biggest exactly thing where. that. Ooh, we do get to see this Kingslayer with his with the Neon off. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Oh, oh. he runs out. He gets picked up by a lack there. Not. You know, walking with that Neon all, instead of deciding to use the fact that Neon can fully sprint while she has that up. And slide, too. Yep. Red will get some good info there, but counter info will come out from Lax. So both teams fighting an equal footing. Blink does manage to pick up Jackson there. Throw it, paint shell into U Haul. Lax still looking pretty good, though, as they take out Piece of Fred. Almost Beast getting the Beast Mod. Oh, my Taking goodness. A little bit of damage there from the Shock Dart, but. Swings out there, picks up Black, but it's nothing. Oh, and he picks up another one. Golly. Now, now Prez has the has the ultimate four chamber. Uh, the name of it is escaping me at the moment. The Tour de Force. Tour de Force. Or is it there the Coop de Force? It's one of those. You know, like, it's it's something. <laughs> it sounds cool. As, it sounds out cool. Though. SMSU is going to try and stick it now, but oh. gets swung by a Beast Mod and Beast Mod there with a good 3K. 
yeah. really coming up clutch in that round. Yeah, that was all beast mod there. That was kind of the main reason. But of course, they get caught in that that bomb. Beast mod will not be able to pick up the rifle, but he's just going to be able to buy it anyway. But still, would have been better if he could maybe get out of there. Not entirely sure what he was doing for that escape, but uh, it doesn't matter at this point. Yeah. They got it it's last round before the half. I'm just kidding. <laughs> totally kidding. <laughs> no, we got it. We got a couple I'm more totally to go kidding. here hey, now. Hey, you know, it's been a long day. <laughs> Morning side here kind of forced onto a staggered by here. They do have a single hero rifle, a couple sheriffs, a specter. They'll be trying to get a kill on the SMSU and, you know, find a kill, get a rifle if they can. But yeah. Jack's going to be real aggressive here. Has the backup from Beast Mod with the sky flashes there to push in. And oh, my Black goodness. Gets picked up there Woken, by Woken. Gets decimated. Woken out here decimating folks. <laughs> now SMSU looking to push onto that side again. Interesting that Jackson is the first one on the site here as the Astro. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Not usually something you see all the time. Definitely uh, liking to play the uh, entry Astro, which, you know, you, you never really see, but it's it's a nice breath of fresh air. But those Astro smokes, very oppressive here for Digital. He's just sitting there with the Sheriff trying to find something. Oh, the Blink's not going to be able to Grimmel pick it up. does come out. Helpless does manage to find Woken, but... It is him and Prez up against three members of SMSU. Oh he equalizes, goodness. though. Picks up Jackson there. Very low health, though. Yeah, he's looking pretty yeah. bad. They will pick him up. push up in the 1v3 situation. Piece of Bread will spot him out there. Will know where he's at. Beast Mod now. Oh, Picks wow. him up. Beast Mod. He's got a beam on him today. Yeah, honestly, he's just been popping off today. The, this game has been mostly Beast Mod. He's been able to get his shots off. As you can see, he's, he's double digits right now in terms of kills. He's got the most kills out of anyone in the game so far. And he's been looking really good. On the side of Morningside, Lack looking, Lack and Prez looking pretty formidable. Yeah, I would say that, especially with Lack being able to kind of get those shots off. You saw in the early rounds where he caught that flank through U-Haul, getting that two-piece, kind of equalized that. And especially Prez, too. I mean, when he hits you with a headhunter, it's almost accurate almost every time. And, again, that's... I think at this point, the biggest factor for them not getting as many rounds here could possibly be because they just can't win those gunfights at the end of the day. Yeah, I, I think part of it, too, though, is that uh, SMSU is playing really, really well as yeah, a team. Like, they're coordinating. We, we just saw that last round. Like, um, Jackson pushes into hookah, but he's not pushing alone. He has sky flashes there to help him out. Ooh, and look at that. Goodness. The Seekers, the Sky Flashes, all the utility coming out, but Helpless managed to fight through it. Picks oh up Woken, goodness. but SMSU answers up, answers back, pick up three of their own. Kingslayer with a good two piece there. Feeling now Digital, really good about himself. That is for sure. Digital in Heaven is going to come up against oh. Jackson. Will pick him up. Jackson not looking at him. Blinks picks up Beast Mod there. It's down to Kingslayer. And now Kingslayer, 1v2 situation. He's gonna go Gets for the bot. damaged by the bot. Oh Will my. pick up Blinks there. Oh my goodness, Rude he's Wall on the brink of death. three health, though. He's gonna make the shot. He gets flash. flash. Will come out. He's gonna have to... Oh, it's gonna be nice a waiting and game. speedy. Throws out the shot. He's still holding it. He's trying to pick him up. Oh. But he gets picked up by Digital there. And Digital will manage to have time to get the bomb defused. And that will be around for Morningside. A good stop that they needed. Yeah. Definitely. The momentum was shifting on the side of SMSU for sure. But that round, but that defuse was all they needed. However, I do like the fight that I saw there by Kingslayer. He tried to give it his all. Yeah. And I think if he may have just tried to push him, I think he probably would have got him a little bit more. But, but even with that win, Morningside still can't fall by. No. That it was a uh it was it was like their first step on a flight of stairs, you know? Yeah, exactly. It's they took the first step, but if they they need to get a couple more wins Wins in this yeah. half. If they, they can manage to win this round, they're going to put SMSU under the back foot economy-wise. Probably get a good bonus round there. Yeah. Um, so this round is a very pivotal round for them to win um, economy-wise because it will give them the, the leg up on SMSU. Especially the, uh, since it's a uh, best of one. You know, it's like yeah. if you lose this, you, that's it. That's game. Exactly. So they, they got to get themselves into gear here. And, they, and there are moments where it comes through. Breach here does have the fault line. This is a really I'm aggressive play from silly. Jackson here. Um, He's when hungry. you go into that meditation <laughs> stance, you can't hear anything. Yeah, you he are. He didn't have any stuck. teammates clear hookah before that. Oh, and that's and it. As I say that, yep. Blinks is yep. waiting in the corner and picks him up. Woken, though, going to be able to spray down Blinks through the wall. Gets picked up by Lack there, though. <laughs> and they're just, they're just running right. in and Pick making shots. Digital. The Cypher ult does come out, so they are aware Black of who here, else is 24 left. 24 health, a Spectre and a Dream. But for the first time in a bit, you see Morningside has the man advantage. Yeah, and uh, 
Now they just kind of have to play the cards right here. You, you oh, see, piece oh of red. my Man, goodness. Man, to get that flick on the Prez. Picks him up. And now Kingslayer has the bomb, but he's neon and he's fast. Rotates right through the portal and will get the Brim's going to be oh. making his way here. He does not decide to plant for Bath. He decides to go more toward the open yeah, he's lawn. He's in a 1v2 situation. Oh, he's, he's going to encounter him. Brim, and he def Brim definitely hurt him there. Yeah. it's He's waiting for him. He's stalking him. It's going to come down to reaction time here, and he will Kingslayer get one. will pick him up. And now 24 health versus the 30 that B Kingslayer has. And he's going to go for plant here. He's going to go for that defuse. Can Kingslayer be able to pick this one up for his team? Sova is low, and the King Slayer is going to be able to take it. Great He's going to clutch it. Great plays coming out there from King Slayer. Honestly, with Neon, it, that was the perfect play. I mean, she's the fast, one of the fastest characters in the game. You give her the bomb, you just start dipping, you know. And they got the, uh, they got bombed down. They were able to win those gunfights, and I mean, it almost looked pretty dire for at least in that situation with Bram. But you saw that crouch, that cod crouching that I've seen so much before has just kind of come out to help him in that situation and it uh works out in smsu's favor keeping this one going in smsu black here for morning side gonna have this gonna have the marshal if it's just classics for the rest of them almost gonna got look the shot for off. some shot there but he's gonna get hit stun comes out there from astra and now jackson just gonna be pushing in there real aggressive like stun does oh, come out through the wow. there but it doesn't pick him up jackson has to reload doesn't have enough bullets tries to spray through not gonna find lack however oh he's gonna oh. find him all right he's gonna try and find him but is he he can't Is the shot though he couldn't get the shot lack with the turn on him dones him digital picking up kingslayer there on the other side that's crazy and smsu is all pushed up here but nobody's got bomb no one has bomb the bomb is still stuck in fountain and they're going to have to go grab that if they want to make anything out of it. But well, that's going to give Morningside a little bit of time. You're definitely making Morningside think here. Yeah, he no, gets for Blinks sure. to recommit to this A site. Camera does go out. Going to try and check. You can see that they're really, they're both next to each other. But none of them are going to try and push here. But you can see. Blink oh, the camera goes up. Blink I think it might have caught him. does have his alt. But he <gasps> just has a frenzy. Well, Blink is going to peek out at you, Hollier. Oh, has the oh, alt. Oh. Throws it out. Picks up piece of bread. Oh. He Gets almost picked got up by Beast Mod there, though. Almost that, and you can see it dinked him too. That was a headshot, but that frenzy damage just did not put him over, and Plant it will be a two v two. Is now down on a two v two situation. Beast Mod for SMSU pretty low here, though. Breach does have his all, and I think, yep, it is gonna come out here. Gonna clear out some area. Doesn't catch any of the SMSU players though. Woken in bathroom. Beast Mod playing real far back in a main yeah especially since beast mod is looking hurt right now only on 20 hp they will be going for the defuse it's going to be up to awoken to maybe stop this they are holding it too and they're going to get away and that's with that really, one and also get the really pick big. and then get oh, the other one. Oh my goodness i don't think they were expecting them to hold the that bomb is a massive momentum shift win yeah i think that was uh i think that might have been a miscommunication on the side of smsu there i think they were both thinking they're probably going to tap Sky was not looking too good, so a push from Sky probably would have killed them for sure. Yep. But Awoken was just too slow on trying to get I, that. I, yeah, uh, I think, uh, I think it makes fun? sense having Beast Mod play back there. I, I almost wonder if you have Beast Mod go into bathrooms and Woken yeah. play further back. Would have been uh, a better for swap. I didn't, perhaps. I didn't look to see if Woken had her dash. That, that might have been why she was playing bathrooms. Mm. She was at full health though, so she, she could have gotten some shots off maybe, but mm -hmm. it does not come up in their favor. It will be eight three here as we're approaching the end of this half pretty soon we're gonna see how this possible round can shift the tide before the half is over yeah you know oh, if morning side oh. can come out can come through here and get another uh, another win another That's gonna be big. win this is this is a real match yeah they have uh, a real chance of doing something if they not, not that they don't have a chance to win this like if they don't get a round win but it's gonna be a lot harder you know yeah that's and especially since they will be swapping here it's gonna be a little harder to get used to trying to go for an entirely new you know going for attack in this time rather than going for defense here and uh awoken already down and out so it's going to be a 4v5 you can see sky kind of taking that far rotate probably going to go toward bath yeah, perhaps help us holding a interesting off angle here jackson trying to push on real oh he's hard 
Get stunned there, though. Oh, and the Brimald is going to come out and pick him up. Hammer down. Digital picks up another one of SMSU's players there. Oh, Beast wow. Man gets pushed on the site. Now, Piece of Bread has eight health. The Dream, and he gets picked up by Helpless. That will be another Morningside round win, and that is the stop they needed. That was good. That was good on the side of Morningside. They're, they're able to just kind of put, put the, you know, get themselves together able to collect themselves especially after if you even look at the timeline here it was just round after round after round after round for smsu they were able to kind of come back and say you know what let's get our stuff together let's come let's come together let's fight let's give them a fight that they want you know and right already we've, this is probably the most intense match that we've seen in the preseason so far definitely giving them a fight but let's see if morningside is able to keep this momentum going into the attack round we know just how dangerous piece of bread cypher can be Chamber as well. I mean, on the side of attack, can be also just as dangerous as Chamber on defense. So it's going to be interesting to see how yeah, they take it I'll, out. I'll be other. interested to see how uh, Morningside utilizes their, their breach for these attacks. Yeah. Um, we don't see a whole lot of breach, but he is definitely a powerful character in the right hands. Yeah, and um, he can definitely be a. He can either be a really good benefit or a detriment to your team. You have to coordinate yeah. correctly, or else it's going to bite you. A piece of bread, getting. Absolutely hammered by utility for Morningside here, though. It is a full-on push He's going to get picked up there by Digital. Woken will get two, though, before getting traded off. Jackson does pick up Helpless here. It's going to be a 3v2, 2v2, 1v2, 1v1. Beast Mod. Beast Mod has the Ghost. Black. Oh! And that is the classic right click. You don't have any armor. Yeah. One of them hits you in the dome. The other two hit you in the chest, and you are dead. That's gonna pick it up. It's gonna now be eight five. Now it's looking definitely a little bit more of a game. It's starting to be more of a fight here. They're just down by three rounds here. They yeah. win these next ones. It's gonna be a and that, closer game. Especially coming into the first, uh, the second half. Yeah. When you're down you need that pistol win because it you almost guarantees you another win right after it because yeah. the other team can be saving you get a buy we'll see if smsu can possibly manage to flip morningside on their heads here but it's gonna be really really hard it looks like they're gonna be setting up for that hookah push you can see breach already trying to go yeah. for the tremor a lot of info coming out there early on there brad posted up here big. with the shorty Definitely a dangerous position, but a definitely a one-and-done oh, position. He does Managed get the pick, pick though. One. Could that be the deal breaker? This is now 3v3. trading out so far, which is exactly what you want. Kingslayer, though, here has... The walls are up. Will pick up a, will pick up a Spectre here. Utility coming out there from Jackson. Slayer pinging for his teammates. Trying to figure out where they're at. Oh, Lack, Lack does catch though, him, though. Does pick up one. This is getting intense. Bullets are flying. It's going to be down to the yeah, Kingslayer again. On Kingslayer. Oh, but he's not going to be able to and pick it up. Trap. Yeah. And this is turning This is turning into an in, uh, a little I bit more of a contested battle. Here, oh, Rapper. we for sure got a game. <laughs> we for sure got a game. I mean, look at Lack and now Digital. <laughs> one of the top performers in the game so far looking really good now. He's kind of caught his stride since those last rounds. And this is putting a dent in SMSU's confidence. I can tell by the way that they're doing this right now. They, they're going for those cheeky, uh, shorty angles. And, interesting uh, ch choice from Kingslayer here. Oh, I mean, never mind. Makes sense. They're on defense. Oh, yeah. and he doesn't have it anymore. He had a Bucky. He did. He for sure did. <laughs> he was he was going for some cheeky Bucky neon plays, but I'm sure maybe the team was like, hey, maybe we shouldn't do that. <laughs> so we gotta we gotta think smart here. SMSU has three other players over at A. Opting to have that cypher in the sky on all oh, the alt B holding and covering it, but the alt here is not gonna find anybody from Lack. Ooh. Oh, did you get a pick up B spot there though? B spread will take pick him up. Trade after trade after trade. It's looking like the stock exchange up in here, and Woken will be picking up helpless. Oh, oh not no. sure what happened with Woken there. Perhaps a. Uh, Maybe she, maybe she's just out of uh, looking for something, and it just wasn't coming out. Maybe there was some kind of calm yeah, issue. Little, uh, in Rocket League, what we call those, uh, we call those blackout moments, mm -hmm. where you know what you need to do, but your hands just don't do the thing you want them to. Oh, I have that a lot. <laughs> I have that a lot. It looks like Jackson's gonna back off here, perhaps thinking that he they're probably gonna He does just have a judge, so he doesn't yeah. want to challenge that hard long angle. Kingslayer here just has a specter gonna peek out there get a little bit of info but uh, 
Looks like SMSU might be wanting... Oh, bomb's actually not down. Yeah, they haven't put the bomb down yet. I think they were waiting on them uh, to do something. But now Jackson coming back, hopefully trying to get this retake. Yeah, they do have rifles, Jackson has the classic out. It's, uh, they're going to shoot that stun out. And Jackson will get immediately taken out by Lack. Kingslayer 1v2 situation. Spectre up against two Phantoms. Real and dangerous he, position. <laughs> he's deciding to and probably go for main here, possibly. It's going to be a change-up, but... Maybe this will be what they need, a, a possible switching of the uh, angles could maybe be all that they need here. Go, go, go. But he's going to have to make something happen here. He's going for it, and they definitely caught him in elbow. Trying to go toward the elbow angle, I'm sure Jackson probably told him, like, I've definitely seen one of them there, and uh, probably didn't know where the other was. Yeah. And that's going to pick it up for and Morningside now it's, again. Uh, one, one round difference. Yeah, this one attack round, difference. this attack round on Morningside has been really good. <laughs> They have just been really just well done in their just Definitely. being able to kind of take their time. If something does go wrong, something just comes up on SMSU, like a possible mistake, a possible slip up, and Morningside's just able to pick it up off of them. Yep. And SMSU needs to kind of kick it in gear yeah, here. And SMSU forced onto, a, forced onto a save this round. So I believe they've got a Spectre, a couple of shorties, and a Marshall. Ooh, the boom a lot bot. of damage coming out there on the Kingslayer. It does oh. get picked up. Jackson manages to pick up one, but get the, then he gets picked up by Lack. Yeah, and I think that was the biggest thing there on SMSU's side. They had only two Spike people planted. on A. The rest were on B, expecting another B push. And now they have full, almost full Piece control. Almost getting some damage taken onto him. They're by the breach after Jacques. Not after Jacques. Oh, wow, what a shot. <laughs> My goodness. Vulcan does manage to pick up one with her knives, though. Yeah, she's so popping given, here. Given SMSU some life, it is a 2v3 situation. So needs to find another one to equalize it out. This is still a winnable situation. They just have to Brett, play it smart here. Brett did manage to pick up a rifle here. Oh, Woken, Woken able to pick it up, up another one. Brett picks up another one. Oh, but the molly. But the molly comes out. What a molly there. That this could do it here. Woken, Woken will take it. One. Can she get I it, though? I don't know if she has time. Oh, it's not going to. I I don't think. I think she has time. Oh, it's coming down to the and wire. The oh, my God. Woken with <laughs> the thrifty. Yikes. Managed to pull out a massive soft oh, rest. Oh, man, I was they sweating. They needed that. I was sweating. That was intense. It, it really came down to hope it, if it wasn't going to be the Molly, because the Molly was still there, and that could have killed her. You know what we get to see now? Hmm. Woken's got the op. Woken's got the op. And we're going to see her kind of go off here. She has been doing pretty decent with the op. She's been practicing ever since she's been given that role, and uh, she does relatively good. Now, of course, she has to play it smart here. Of course, uh, Woken has been known to play slightly aggressive at times. So yeah, hopefully they, she doesn't I, overextend. I think this is the round. This is a round that SMSU play, needs to win. Oh, they need it. And Chamber also has his op out as and well. Look at all that utility just flooding onto A side. And a really hard hit coming out here. My goodness. <laughs> Breach is just going deep. You have control of U-Haul, but Jackson does pick up digital there. And Kingslayer gets a really big pick there onto Helpless. And now, shots are firing. Morning side put into a really desperate spot. Blinks is stranded on site. Bomb is stranded in U-Haul. Yeah, and they're on the there. hunt. Oh, oh, but Jackson didn't expect out it. There. It's Maybe a, a little bit of angle. miscommunication <laughs> with his teammate. Maybe was expecting his teammate to swing that angle while he swung out. Yep. And you can see Kennedy. Oh, oh, you can see Woken hit. Woken with the ah uh, picks up Lack there. Now Prez last oh, alive. But Prez will pick oh. up Woken there. Gets me some bread. And now Prez 1v2 situation. Doesn't have the bomb, though. The Kingslayer tour has Neon. Force. Neon going to go for the flank in the bathroom. I don't, is Chamber going to expect it, though? If if Neon does anything to cause any sound, he's going to look behind, and he's going to start here. He can maybe oh, catch he Neon. Him. He sees him. He pulls out He oh. pulls out the Tour de Force. This is King, gonna, I, don't, I don't think King's dumb enough to push him. He's going to have to get him to turn his back. And it, he will Last leave Neon. And this is very similar to what we had before here, except now, bomb Edge needs to be planted. Into you haul doesn't have enough time to get onto site. I don't, not, I don't think he has enough he has time to, to plant. Planning now he, he does not. Have time. He's going to look to pick up one. He wants to get the picks here before the mat. Oh, but it's not going to be enough. And that will be a good stop for Asmus. You running out the clock. Yeah. They will, however, lose that op, so that is unfortunate. But yeah. But I think at the end of the day, a win is a win. You take that round, you keep going. Yep. And you they know. don't have the money to reinvest into another op. So that that is a significant loss for SMSU. But um, yeah, 
almost bittersweet. They do, they do force Morningside onto a staggered buy here. Then. Yeah, they are looking They've bad. Got, they're looking really just out of looks place. Looks like they're going to have a hero rifle, a couple sheriffs. SMSU going to have three vandals there, a sheriff and a... You know, Jackson really likes that judge. He do. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's worked from time to time, and sometimes it does not, but, I mean, it's all reliable. That I, is all reliable. I do like the judge, especially when you're on defense, because you can control the range of your engagements. Yep. Um, you don't have to be as dynamic. It does feel really bad, though, when you... Uh, you know, when you're on like a site like B where it's like, oh, all my engagements are really close range, and then you have to go on to A. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh my goodness! Uh, I was, I, I <laughs> just wow. Cut me off, Afro. Wha I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just watch uh, as a cipher main, right? You watch a perfect hookup <laughs> set up in the trips. I was just watching it in action. You could see like they threw the boom bot out, didn't catch any of the trips, then they jump out, get hit with something, they bounce off, they get caught. <laughs> and I was just like, oh my, oh, it was almost perfect. I think, I think if you're, uh, if you're Morningside here, you got three alts, you got the Breach alt, you got the Raze alt, you got the Brimstone alt. This is an alt round. Yeah. You gotta win this. Yeah, you they, gotta they, get some gas in the tank. Yeah, and if you don't get any gas in the tank, this is their buy round. If they lose this, it's pretty much game. Or it should be. It should be game, for sure. And if they don't commit to something, if they cannot just say, let's just put all of our chips on they the table right really now. really don't want that breach to die early and that breach is taking some aggressive pushes here. Yeah, they're really the only pushing one pushing site. If if Beesmod catches him, because he's been pretty accurate so far, this might be big. Breach pushed up real aggressive there. The rest of his team on a different site, not the one that he is on. Now, Breach could fake this site. Oh, Kingslayer was right there to pick it up. And that's that's one of their alts down. That's a raise alt. That's gone. Yeah, raise alt is gone. You do see the world divided coming up, and it seems like they're going to be making that rotation to B as they can see that A is locked down. Now the world divided is great for SMSU, but it also cuts them off so, from some information. Yeah, like they can't hear. They don't necessarily know any of the sound cues for people rotating. And there's that breach alt coming out from Hookah. They're going to be the push here onto B site. It is gonna get beast mod, but he's not gonna be freaking out from it quite yet. Beast mod does pick up one. Black picks up and trades back, and beast mod as well as digital trade back and forth. So now, one SMSU advantage. one man advantage, two man advantage down. Breach very, very, very low. Yeah. Up against Woken and Kingslayer as well as Jackson. He is There's the absolutely stuns. cornered. Stunts come out. Woken shoot some shots left. at him. And that's Picks gonna do up. it. And now they're close to victory. Just one more round, and they will secure it here. And But again, even if this is the end game, if this is the round that SMSU takes to win this one, I got to say, Morningside for the most part, the Morningside Mustangs, they were out here playing. They really did their thing in that attack round, at least at the beginning. But I think SMSU, they got over that bump. They thought about it, and they were like, we're not, we're giving them these rounds. We got to see what mistakes we're making, and we have to correct them as soon as possible. And they did that. It's definitely a hard-fought game from SMSU. Oh yeah. Um, Morningside does have a chance to pull together a whole bunch of miracles here, um, but obviously can't say that quite yet. You see the alts coming out oh. there from Brim, from or not? Yeah, Brim. Okay. Yep, yep. <laughs> Yeah, you got it. You got breach confused sometimes, right? They, yeah, they yeah. But Brim, breach. Real gruff-looking men with beards. <laughs> Honestly. And oh, oh and he's, he's gonna, gonna push out there. Oh wow. And I don't think we should pick out Morningside out of this game. Just oh no. Yet. Oh no. No, no, no. Big they are still stop. looking good. They are. They're giving him a fight. If this is the level of competition we got this season, this is going to be a good season. I have to say right right now. Like the. This is good. Morningside now, though. They just have the raise alt to work with. Prez is fairly close to his alt. Needs a orb and a kill. Um, we do see. SMSU, they've got the yep. cypher and and the, uh, and the jet. jet alt. There we go. Those are the words. <laughs> and, of course, you see that Beast Mod has just one more to get his yeah. alt. And, I mean, of course, those alts are going to be really good. I mean, if they can get a pick... They can get Cypher's ult yeah, the easily. Yeah, the Jet ult, you know, not the strongest out there. Really useful economy-wise. But, yeah. uh, you know, in terms of, like, stopping attackers, not the greatest. Cypher, really useful. Uh, oh, um, wow. If you can get it used in the right in the right time. Oh, oh he's going in. Coming out. 
He's going in. Is he going to take the shot? He's, looking, he's going to take slow. the shot. Oh, he's going to tie oh, that just perfectly. Wow. Takes out Golly. Kingsley there. Golly. Now, Morningside has the man advantage, and they're going to do a quick rotate over to B. Yeah. Seekers will give SMSU that knowledge, though. Jackson not quite rotating fast enough here. Oh, he's not going to be able to catch him. And Blinks picks up a piece of bread there, and that's going to be bombed down and full sight control for Morningside. SMSU 2v4 situation. And this can be tough to recover from. Yeah, this is a 2v4 retake. You got one coming in from main hookah side. You got the other coming in from CT. They're going to want to play this extremely slow, methodical, but they, or they go for the exit flat, uh, the exit Ooh, frag. Beastman doesn't it. expect the other Morningside number to be there. Does hear oh, Brim, but no. doesn't get his gun out fast enough. And I think if you're Jackson, you're, you almost just want to save. Yeah, I don't think it's worth the fight to, to you know, getting the picks is all well and good, but at this, in this situation... One. Gets picked up there by Digital, yeah. though, and that'll be another morning side win. And now, if you're SMSU, you just lost a critical round. Yeah, it's well, critical second round in a row. I think you might have been so close to victory. Yeah, it's getting it's so and that it's doubt can start to creep in, and that is really bad. I think the biggest thing there that you talked about was the fact of Jackson just being able. To, you know, he got the pick. I would have I would have dipped. I would have took that pick and got out. I think what they, you know, they're so close to victory that I think that they're starting to maybe feel overconfident, and they're thinking maybe like, oh yeah, let's just let's just clinch this one, let's take it in, let's take it in, boys, match point. Yeah, it's, and it's it's it's, it's hitting them. It's very easy when you get ahead in Valorant to think that you're just like, oh, we we can play a little bit more aggressive this round. We have five rounds to work with. Yeah. Yeah. And then you lose that round, and then you lose another round, and then your economy is gone, and you're on oh. the back foot. And there it is again. Blinks will be traded off. Digital does take out the King Slayer. It's going to be a 3v4 situation. And the ult Breach out. is coming out again onto that A site. Wilkin managed, managed to pick up Prez, but Helpless will pick up her. It's down the Cypher and Sky again on opposite sides of the map. They're going to want to try and play this. going to be coming into a really dangerous counter oh, here. Oh, he's going to be able to pick up, up one, but only has 30 health left here. Has to pop the Cypher Cage and is going to try and rotate it around. Oh, here. but beast the Beast Mod. mod. Got a beam on him, but Lack catches him lacking. It's 1v1 now. And now, he's going to take the long way. Bread. One shot here. Yeah, and Sova looking pretty good. Doesn't have any util anymore, but is at rifles. Does have full health. So... He kind of, he does have an advantage. He just needs to know where to look, and that can be kind of hard to do in a situation like this. Ooh, piece of bread. He see. Yep. He oh, saw it. Oh, and Lack. He, yep. He knew that the bomb was even if he got the kill. Lack will be taken by the bomb, but he knew that there was not going to be enough time to get the kill. He knew it. He saw the bomb was like, I can't do it, and he just tried to get out, but he was just too far out. So I caught him, and now the game is a 10-12 game. SMSU still so close, fingertips very, away. Very, very close. And I gotta SMSU say, SMSU will be on a staggered buy, so yep. that is they do have the disadvantage in this round. Um, will be setting themselves up, however, to full buy next round. I imagine. You want to play, I think with that, play. with those buys, especially on defense, maybe just playing the shorter angles is what you gotta do. They have rifles, so long range assaults will not help you here. You gotta play that cheeky. Reach is being so useful in this game. Oh, the shot! Can he get the oh, second? No, spot. the reload. And that's the one rifle for SMSU going down there. Woken flashed out, can't get the shots off on the people coming out oh, from. Oh no, Jackson gets taken. Planted. Oh, Woken but the shot. Does find one. Quick with the marshal. Shock dart almost catching her. Kingslayer did manage to pick up a rifle, possibly from one of those members in Hookah. He's going to throw oh, out no. the stun. There goes the flash, and he's going to get taken out by Lack. Now it is well, down. Situation. Oh, and he has op. Knows where Chamber is. Crosshair's not quite high enough. Chamber has an op. The pixel, the pixel, the pixel peak. Woken in a bad spot. Of course, Chamber's going to have to come all the way around. Gets it's it about half. halfway. Now it's your chance to get out. Hop back a little bit. And SMSU now in dire straits. Woken trying to do what she can, but just can't manage to... Put something together. Put something together there. I mean, it's really hard. Chambers got his tour de force. Yeah, and that tour de force is so deadly. Another rifle on the other on the other player. So, and you're just stuck with a marshal. So, yeah. Unless you're tens with them headshots. Yeah, I, <laughs> it I think it's really hard to pull that out. I think the situation was dire from the get go with Jet. I feel like that marshal 
it was good up until you're in a situation where you're alone and at 1v2. Now, this is SMSU's round to try and win. Yeah, they have um, to. If they lose this round, then we go into overtime. Yeah, and it's sudden. It's sudden death. <laughs> like, it, uh, it's first uh, yeah, two rounds. Yeah, like that. Yeah, like yeah. In, this situ in a situation like this, you kind of just have to go full force. You can't allow them to do anything. And right now, more Good suck coming out there from Jackson. Oh, but Helpless is able to take out this thread. Not managing to find anything from it. Oh. Jackson does manage to pick up one, but gets taken out. And now, Razor will come out. Great zoning tool. Gonna fire it off a little sooner. Maybe doesn't know that SMSU is pushing up from behind. Kingslayer, though, here. Just has a bulldog. Almost stunned himself there. He's gonna take... He's gonna push out there. Pick up Prez. Oh, the Beast Mod saving the now Kingslayer's two, life. But Lack, Lack is flanking. And no one SMSU knows. SMSU doesn't expect it. They don't know. Beast Mod's gonna get picked Beast up Beast Mod, right oh, here. no. He wasn't aware. Now Kingslayer in a very, very dangerous pincer situation. He can get it. Does pick up Lack. He has to take out the raise. He out still has some time to maybe go for a defuse if he can take out this raise. Oh! He looked Doesn't away! Know where he is. He looked away! And will pick him up. That is unfortunate for Kingslayer. And it was so... It was right there. I know, I know as a caster, you get to see just about everything. As a player, you don't get to see everything. Yeah. And, and it was just... If he just reached over That's past a, the box yeah, a little bit it's more... A, Maybe a little bit of a misplay from Kingslayer there, though. Um, yeah, I, you know, I, if because he makes all that noise. Yeah. Um, uh, was it Lack? Yeah, uh, it was the. Yeah, I believe it was. Uh, Lack doesn't make any noise. Kingslayer makes the noise, so Lack knows exactly where he's at. You know what? I was wrong. It was Blinks. It was Blinks. <laughs> it okay. was the race. Yeah. I I couldn't. All good, man. Like, I I, I, I totally agree with you on that though. It was just I think having his back turned because he had the angle. And then he ran around and had his back turned looking at you, Hall. I don't know if that was maybe someone's call I out. Don't, I don't think he had enough time. Yeah, that is true, too. He could have had some info from his team. Um, I don't think he had enough time to fully clear you, Hall. So he did have to make the decision he made. Um, now SMSU, of course, in overtime, they will alternate between attack and defense. Yep. So SMSU getting the attack this time around. And we did see Chamber with Op taking out the Beast Mod. So they're already at a disadvantage. Kingslayer pushes really fast oh. onto them. So close, so close. Now, 2v3. Blinks in a really strong position there. Manages to pick up. I, I'm surprised Blinks didn't pick up uh, Kingslayer when he ran out right away. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the neon. It's just too fast. He oh! Do be zooming. He takes out the opper. It is 2v2. Digital up in heaven. Blinks Thanks. Yeah. over in A, over in bathrooms. Oh, oh man. Well, I'm gonna, gonna go gonna for it. Throw out oh. the bomb, but doesn't have cover. They do manage to get the bomb down. Stun. But will get flashed. Now, piece of bread last alive. And he's gonna get he's stunned. He's gonna get stunned, and he's gonna get pushed here. Oh, but the breach not gonna know. But it's Beast Blinks who not picks it up. Managing to pick up Blinks, and that is very unfortunate for SMSU. And now, for the first time in this game, Morningside will take the lead in overtime they still have one more round to secure it here but if smsu Switching can shots. just dig down deep and clutch this round but it's also just at this moment it's look how look at the timeline here they had four straight rounds they had match point for almost for five rounds straight after that yeah. and they just could not pick it up i think if you're smsu here this is really really hard to come back from not not because it's like it's not hard because um it's like hard to play the game. It's hard because like, if you lose all those rounds in a row and you've been up the entire match, you yeah. just feel like you're gonna lose. Morale just begins to kind of lower after a And bit. like that gets into your head and it's just feels impossible to win. Well, they, they, yeah. if, they, if they do win or lose, they cannot bring that kind of confidence and morale like into the next game. They He's have to be Managed refreshed. Managed to get a good opening pick there onto Blinks. Oh, Another one wow. on the helpless, and that's massive for SMSU. Piece of bread coming up clutch. Jackson picks up a wall bang and with now, the Odin. Oh, and now Morningside is, is in a corner. So Lack is just looking bad. He's stuck in bathroom. You got a Sky trying to flank him from behind. He's got smoked out in the doorway. There's not much he can go to right now at this situation. A piece of bread even shooting out the dart there. Thinking he might have heard lack there. Oh, and Piece he... of Bread just knows, and oh. so does Woken. Woken able to take it from him, but he was dealing some big damage to him from that wall. And now oh, we have a 13-13. Oh, 
double overtime. Uh, we'll have to see which one of these teams breaks first. SMSU got to feel good getting that win after yeah, it's having five round losses in a row after you've been up the entire match. Yeah, and and, and this is such a you know and and you know we've had those past games before where SMSU comes through and takes care of business, wraps it up, but now. You can actually look at this game and say like what mistakes were made here what did we do wrong because this wasn't this was a hard fought battle in this fight from the mustangs uh, pardon me the morning side mustangs of course <laughs> and th this is really good in the sense of like looking at the video and seeing how did we do Ooh, Logan, Logan gets a really strong opening pick piece of bread following up by taking out lack the top fragger on Morningside, so that's gonna be a massive pickup oh for SMSU. Prez has the op here up in heaven, but bomb is down for SMSU. They have five man on the site. They got the cam, they spot chamber up in heaven with op as well. But digital and blinks able to pick up Woken and Beast mod. Equalizing it out. Now Prez gonna be pushing out. Oh, Beast of Bread, oh. though, picks up one. Gonna throw some more shots towards the other one. Jackson takes out Prez, the op is down. Blake's eight health and SMSU wow. picks him up and SMSU taking the round lead. And that's all they need. They need that one more though. They got a claw. They got the round up. Now they just got to finish it. And that, and we could go into triple overtime here with the amount of fight <laughs> that we've been seeing from both teams. This has been, uh, I won't. This, I, this, this is good. This is, good. this is what I love to see. This is why we <laughs> play Valorant. This is why we cast it too. Like this is the game with moments like these. We're in double <laughs> OT. Granted, it's preseason, but still, like this is a banger. And I, I gotta commend both teams for how much fight that they've been giving. And you can even see even the even the comp looks the same. Rifles and Odin on both sides now. This miss you on defense once again. And they're gonna try. I was definitely and a little worried for them on. Uh... Oh no, never mind. They did better. They did better on attack than they did on defense. They do a lot better on attack i think their defense lacks a little bit but when they put their minds together it seems to kind of work out but they still need to clinch this one grenades going deep into ct it will hurt the astra slightly much yep smsu does get some good info there i believe uh piece of bread did get a plink onto uh prez there so he doesn't know that prez is there Black. Oh, he dangerous hears position. He every manages to pick up Woken with that lurk. Oh, and the arrow. I can tell where he wanted it to go, but it just he just had it in the wrong aim placement. And Prez in a dangerous position again. Oh. Picks up Beast Mod. Oh no, Beast Mod picked up Prez. I mean, when you stare down the barrel of an <laughs> Odin, it's almost like you're staring death right in the face. But he was able to conquer that. It is indeed. Now let's see if they can do something here. Still four v four. They have bomb down. They have all of A. King Slayer in a interesting position probably thought that the breach would try to flank but they're actually going to go a different route oh, oh and lack the peeks beast out there from the bathrooms picks up another and lack with a good oh, oh lack with the 4k and with that coming up massive for his team <laughs> and with that we've entered triple <laughs> overtime my his team's just goodness. deciding to trade rounds back and forth back and forth this is exactly wow. what we like to see and this is going to become a definitely a battle of attrition. Which team is going to break first? Which one has the mental to keep fighting through? Especially since uh, we also have a second game, which was supposed to be starting at 8.15. But it looks like we're going to be pushing that back. Up. It is now 8.11. So we're pushing that a uh, bit back for this game. But I did not expect this much of a game from both Mustangs. They have come here to play. and It's been just round by round by round no one really able to kind of secure anything on either side and prez will take out the king slayer with the op that's going to set the tone for this round massive opening pick and there's the breach oh, oh, and honestly the shot honestly ever i think a big a big part of this a big story of this game has been the utility yeah, that's that what makes or breaks the that game. That breach utility from Morningside has been absolutely decimating SMSU. Yeah. The fault line, the aftershock, the flashes, managing to give them the space and time they need to flood onto a site and to manage to pick up SMSU. And it's been really, really useful through, through that Astra utility, too. 
Yeah, I think the mix of that, you know, with the utilities all kind of coming together, that coordination, you know, it, it comes up so much in this game that you need it. And oh my goodness, Morningside just decimating SMS. You completely oh, before the even get kill out. Oh, 3K, he is on fire. He is 34 and 20, an absolute menace right yeah, now. Yeah, he is an absolute unit. And now we've entered match point. They... And now we're on a, you know, we're looking at the other side of the table right now. Now, Morningside Mustangs up around. We've been in this situation a couple times now. And this could be it. I mean, Triple OT, can SMSU just dig down deep and keep it going just a little bit longer? They need this win. They need, obviously, to win the game. But also, it's like every time we get around, the other team gets around. But perhaps this might be the final nail in the coffin. side looking to pressure hard towards B this time around. Woken holding an off angle. He's red does get some info. Knowing. Oh my goodness. Oh, but look at all that utility just popping out right away. But he's going to catch Spread though will pick that up. Does take some damage from Pain Cells. Will get to back away into elbow fairly unscathed. They're going to start a popping shots. A lot of shots thrown back and forth, forcing Ooh. Morningside off the B site Astra. here. And now Jackson, with one of his infamous lurks, oh. picks up one. Can he catch Brim, though? No. looking for a second. Brim is scared. Does see Brim. Brim is scared. Barely, Brim is not looking too hot. Just barely peeking out. Oh, but see some pixels. Gets traded. Ooh, gets picked up by Beastmont. 4v2 now. A possibility. Oh, but Astra, Jackson, he's going to get flanked by Prez here. The flank He's gonna back of a off flank. just well enough. Oh my goodness, the timing. That's crazy. The now, time now is if, insane. And look here. at Astra just watching. Now it's up to Chamber to be able to tell. Did he back oh, off? Oh, oh Jackson. Oh no. no. Oh no, Jackson. Turned his back at the wrong moment. If SMSU he just held that angle. Still has a man advantage. So unfortunate for Jackson there, though. He was expecting Chamber to possibly be flanking up from. Uh, CT's or er, attack respond. Prez world popping shots. They will get bombed down, possibly. No, they will not. Now they just have to hold it. Do they have enough time to still play it? No, they don't. They, need they five have no time. To play it. Prez is going to look for some kills, but that's gonna not going to be enough. And uh, <laughs> and it would appear, folks, even game. <laughs> 15 to 15. Well, uh, what is this? Quadruple overtime, overtime now? <laughs> Oh my goodness. You know, in all of my time casting, playing, observing Valorant, I have never witnessed have a quadruple over this yet. I don't think I have either. In VCT history, in in you know, collegiate history, I've never seen this and I'm glad to be here in this moment of history. I'm glad to be here. You know, this is great. <laughs> Is gonna get flashed out there. Is the glass cannon op? Oh, oh but Pizza Bread will pick him up there. Pizza Bread was just a little quicker there with the draw. Now SMSU pushing on to B site. Got a lot of utility coming out. They do seem to have B. They're, They're gonna, gonna get, get bombed real down. aggressive there. That Astra smoke. Lack though. Oh, he's pushing really deep. SMSU Woken will pick up. Lack there though. Oh, what a grenade. That almost got Woken. Boombot does go out. Looking, trying to Blinks. get the pre-fire going off there. Lynx is also extremely hurt and is looking in dire straits. They do get the combat stim out, but... I don't know if that's going to be enough. It will. It can't. I mean, she's at 21 health. Just takes one bullet. And you can Ooh. see Piece of Prince <laughs> slinking through elbow. And he's going to catch him. Can he catch a second one, though? Just swing it out oh. there. Throw a shoulder, throw and they're shots, up. and, and they're up. Oh, so I just pick up the round. But this is here's the thing, Craw. <laughs> Every is morning side gonna come back. Are e they gonna get another that's round? The question. We don't know. Every time that's what seems to keep happening. <laughs> Every time one Mustang goes up around, the other Mustang goes up around too. And then we enter another overtime. We're in an infinite time loop. Dormammu, I've come to bargain. We're stuck. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know what exactly we should be doing here. Doctor Strange, please Doctor tell me the way out. <laughs> Where's, what do we do? What's the number one? Where's that number one where we win? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, come on! And uh, it's it's such a closely contested oh, look at this game. This aggressive though. positioning from SMSU. They're hungry. They, they're they are hungry. looking Blood. for those early kills, but 
Help can they get it though? Oh, oh no. no, they lose a second. It's falling apart. Beast mod though picks up a two piece Ain't there. No way, my boy was out here on his John yeah, Wick. Up. He's gonna even throw out the dog, looking for all that info. Actually, doesn't see helpless there. That is some aggression coming out from Mike. Excessive. I mean, it's gonna cost though. Sky still hurt pretty badly. Meanwhile, Chamber I, Sova, they're still I, pretty I, good. I, li I like it though. I, I oh that, yeah. You know, if you're morning, you don't expect them to do that. No. And they were hoping they could get some more out of it, and they almost did. But those gunfights. Woken press. Oh, oh just Woken unable to get, get the shot. Shots to connect and, and Beast Lack's Mod. Pick up Beast Mod and this is looking like it's uh, gonna be another uh, equalizer round. Oh, uh, but it's a piece of bread, though. That is true. That piece of bread has been, has been shown to clutch things in very tight situations. He's gonna have to play smart. He's but gonna have to Morningside play. Morningside is the playing thoughtful. very smart positions. They are not gonna push this if they don't have to. No, they they do have. They are forcing his hand to do everything. If he doesn't he's gonna have do to it, drop. He's gonna have to, and he will. Chamber is gonna probably hear it. They do hear the he's gunfire. Chamber still waiting though, not gonna try All and push. That time doesn't have the time to do anything. He right. does. Oh, he takes out one. He does pick up one. But now he's, he's going for it. with two members. Oh no. Gonna try and get it to half. He's not gonna be able to do it. And helpless manages to pick him up. That is the equalizer round. We are at 16 to 16. Yeah, and we're on. <laughs> this is insane, <laughs> Afro. Oh, oh my goodness, time. we're in quintuple. I cannot believe quintuple this. Quintuple overtime. Is that where we're at now? Golly. I stopped counting after the third. Hey, man. This is insane. <laughs> this is crazy. At right this here. point, I don't even care who wins. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm sitting here in awe at the fact that we've sat through six overtime. Oh, damn near six overtime. Now, I mean, yeah, if this was a rank game, the teams could vote to do a, a draw. A draw. Yeah, a tie. But there ain't no way they draw in here. The only thing they draw in is blood. <laughs> <laughs> they want to win. That's what this is all about. And oh, he almost got two there. An opening pick there. Oh, fault line will come out. He is getting a lot of utility out from that. Just from uh, tagging out that uh, that alt orb, actually. Now, so see, they did lose uh, Kingslayer there. They did. Not quite sure how he died. Uh, well, Neon, probably being aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's, oh, and that's, that's how Look, look. They're going for the fake. But Cypher's still but Cypher's still chilling. He's waiting for well, an you opportunity. Got, you got to leave a little bit of bait oh, on Oh, yeah. Hook. And if you're going to have anyone watch it, it's got to be Brad. It's going to be Brad. But it looks like uh, Brim will stay kind of – they're both, like, side to side by each other. The only thing separating yeah. them is a wall. They do have 45 seconds to work with. There goes the Trailblazer. Woken will push with the Wolf as well. They aren't going to see anybody directly there, Ooh, but, but – the Fault line, or the aftershock does come out. A digital dangerous location. Thirty seconds left. Oh, does they saw the jet. jump out. Piece of bread does get taken out by helpless. They haven't seen digital yet. Beastmont takes out blinks. Digital does get smoked off. Now they three v three. Warning side gonna have to play retake. Digital gonna be coming up against Jackson here. Oh my goodness. Oh. Jackson with that clean headshot onto Digital, giving SMSU the man of engine. That's exactly what they wanted. This Meanwhile, week. Chamber and Sky almost going to meet fuck? here soon. Both of them in a tough spot. But the, it looks like both Jackson and SMSU Jet actually opting to have two members play elbow this time around. Yep. And the bomb's in container. They're going to have to push it in order for it to work. And they're going to hold it as well. They have to push here. They have to. Woken gets in there. Picks up one. They have to helpless push. Helpless is going to try and stick it. Oh, Jackson my swing out, goodness. Up helpless, and that's SMSU going up another round, but we don't really know how this is going to turn out. They had to push there. That was the situation. They made the mistake of not pushing last time, and that cost them a round. They had to push. They, even if it was a fake tap, even if it was like, you know, maybe they didn't fully tap it. Maybe they were just, you know, playing. They still have to push. They have to. They're in a small little container. What are they going to do? <laughs> like We get to see what I wanted to see last last week. Yeah. Jackson's got the op. Jackson's got the op. Jackson's got Astra op. And he's going That's into, a move, And man. he's going into that path. That is a move. Oh, he's waiting. He is, he is looking. Ooh, I like, I like that play from Beastmod, throwing the dock through the teleporter to get some info. And he's going to get it. Can oh, Jackson lack. pick it up, though? Oh, Ooh, no! Gets picked up by a lack there, unfortunately. He's going to miss the op shot, but Kingslayer is going to take out Helpless. The ult. 
to get that stamina. He's just gonna start running. Bomb I wouldn't say oh, my bad. down on A. Call it an ult. Golly, I'm just so so hyped up. The energy so high. Black with the op shot picked up by JV, and uh, it's gonna be looking very dire. At least in the situation that they're in right now. Three v two v three two v two. This might this might clinch it if they can just defuse. If they can just have someone. Ooh, the, the aftershock comes out. Chamber. Oh, oh piece of bread Hoken gets stuck him. looking between two place now woken. Oh no. In a dire spot. It is oh, looking like this is gonna be another round. The switch. feeling in my gut. The feeling in my gut just tightens up. And we have entered the six. Switching sides. OT. 17 to 17, oh, Afro. 17, 17 to 17. To 17. Are you kidding me? I cannot believe this right now. <laughs> Golly. These teams are so evenly matched. They want to show who is the superior Mustang. I said this at the beginning. They want people to know who the best is in the Midwest. And uh, <laughs> I'm still shook for who is. <laughs> I am i don't know because they're both doing so well that I there's no clear winner. Every time one this gets a win, the other one gets a win. Utterly insane. Back and forth, the fight from both teams is absolutely insane. You can already see Sova starting to make his rotate because there's he's just like in the event. Ooh, Blinks Woken. gets concussed by that Sky Dog, and Welcome will pick him up real quick. Meanwhile, the uh, other members of Morningside still on A. Brim will stay for the moment until he knows for a fact that Astro they're there. Though. are down on B, so SMSU has fully flooded the site. The Blitzkrieg has come out, and Brim has started to go for the. Uh, Oh, Jackson Possible does pick up flank. digital there in elbow. Ooh, and I believe he might have been caught in that trip. So they, I think they have the information that Brim is Ooh. trying to go for flank. Brim is trying, has to push through that trip there, does destroy it. He shoots another Jackson one. will be there. Jackson waiting for the perfect opportunity. And Jackson does pick up helpless. Yep, yeah, that's good now. information there by Cypher. Able to kind of hold it down. Preswell almost getting it with that shot. Oh my goodness! Pick up King Slayer, but gets traded out by the Beast Mod. And it's down now the lack. lack. He needs to but go for no it. there's no man you'd rather Ooh, have if Beast Bread picks him up. Man. SMSU taking the... Taking... 18 to 17. In, in 18 to 17. Utterly insane. Six overtimes. You know, as you said before, if this was comp, hey, just draw. <laughs> but they can't do that here. Yeah, I, I think I think the teams probably would have done that, you know, like... Uh, it would have been like, hey, GG's brother. Go. Yeah, hey, GG's but, brother, but hey, we gotta go, but... Not, not these two. They, they don't want that. They want this is, to win. This is almost a 36-round game. Yeah. This is a 35-round game right now. That's correct. We've gone through six that OTs. That is insane. If the you Mustangs, need 13 rounds to win. <laughs> if the if the <laughs> if the Morningside Mustangs continue to play like they've been doing and win another round, we're going to be entering oh, seven overtimes. Oh, it's going to be another a site Blitzkrieg here from Morningside. This has been absolutely incredible. You can see Beast Mod's already rotating over to A. Might as well. <laughs> Might as well yeah, go for the you walk. you just want to leave that Cypher over there. He's got some Astro Stars. Jackson Coming will out. take the first blood. He will get his Ooh, kill. He's getting quite low here. And he's taking shots. HP. He's hurt bad, but the Sky is right there to heal, putting him back up to about 100. And if piece of bread. Link's taking some. Uh, oh, man. He, could he? <laughs> this is just a battle of attrition from both teams. Neither one of them want to give up. Look at the way that Jackson just shoots sporadically. I <laughs> do the same angle. thing. You're, it's almost like the paranoia starts to set in of like, where can they possibly be? I cannot give up this. They're down a man, though. SMSU has a man advantage. They just need to clinch it, hold their angles, play smart, and they could possibly clinch it here. And the Kingslayer. Oh, Kingslayer gets taken out by Prez there to equalize. And, and it's still going to be another Blitzkrieg on A. And Digital. Is going to be able to get the plan off. Lack does go down, though. Woken will take out Prez. Jackson, Jackson will take up. out Blinks. Oh, but and Jackson, Jackson with, with the 4K. 4K. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's going to be an SMSU win. Holy moly. After six overtimes. 19 to 17, oh, Afro. Oh, my God. 19. Oh, my God. That is utterly insane. I, I can't. What a Preseason game for SMSU versus. And what, a, and what a way to end it with the 4K. Fair State.
University. Oh, sorry. Oh. That was not oh. Ferris State. Morningside, Iowa. I've said that all game. I don't know why I screw it up there. I look at my notebook. and uh, Yeah. The, you know, the, there's two names next to each other. There but. can only be one Mustang. That is what we have learned here today. After six overtimes, it'll be 1917. Mustangs up in this one. And we will see you guys in game two. We're going to have to get ready here because this is about to be. Absolutely. Yeah, so don't touch that dial. We'll be right back, though. 